So hello and welcome friends to our channel Entromech and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts. So guys we have started our new series regarding the basic principles of fixturing. So today we will see what are the clamping and work holding principles of fixturing. So please do watch the video until end and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for getting the updates on the channel. So without wasting time let's get started. So first we will see what are the clamping or work holding devices right so in our previous session we have seen that locating the workpiece is the first principle and then once we locate the part the work holding is very important so the process of holding the position of the workpiece in the fixture or the jig is called as clamping so once you locate the part it is very important to hold the part now you could see over here this is our job and uh, let's say there are some operational forces let's say cutting machining or any other kind of external forces are coming on the job right so we have positioned the job but because of these forces the job might get lifted right or if the forces are coming on from this direction it might get shifted so we have to keep the part in the particular position to carry out the processes so for that purpose we have to apply some kind of holding force over here so this is nothing but can this is nothing but the holding of the job and we can achieve it with the help of different devices right so let's see what are the principles of uh, clamping so first principle you could see the clamping should be capable of to hold the workpiece securely against all the forces which are getting developed over here so this is the principle we just see this is the most important principle of clamping because when you hold the workpiece it should resist the external forces that is the main purpose of clamping or say work holding right now let's see what is the second the clamping force should not dent or damage the workpiece with excessive load now this is also very important because let's say if your job is of plastic or some soft material and if you apply some excessive holding force over the job it can cause the deformation of the part which is not at all required so you should be careful while selecting the holding force of the clamping device so let's see what is the next principle it should be easy to operate so that there will be less fatigue to the operator that means let's say if i require a lot of holding force let's say 10 kilonewton force so does that mean that when i apply that force or the operator apply that force he has to give a lot of efforts so no the operator should apply with the minimum force but we should get the maximum holding force so that is the requirement it should the whatever clamping device or work holding device you are selecting for the fixture designing should have the minimum uh, minimum hand force of the operator so that the operator can be easily load and unload the part so that is also an important parameter then we have vibration should tighten the camps and wedges in the clamp right and they should not loosen that means if there are some vibrations in the job and your holding clamp mechanism might have some camps or other things so it should not get loosened right because what will happen because of the vibrations if those mechanisms get loosened uh, the part can come out or it can shift from its required position right so these are some of the basic principles there are many other principles but these are the basic principles you should keep in mind while designing the fixture while designing uh, your clamping devices and selecting the clamping devices right so let's move so what are the different types of clamping devices now we have seen the requirement of work holding uh, that is nothing but clamping of the device so we can achieve this with the help of different uh, say different mechanisms we might have some mechanical mechanisms or some powered mechanisms so fixture clamps we have mechanical clamps or here 
in mechanical clamps we have strap clamps screw clamps then cam clamps hinge clamps wedge clamp toggle clamps so according to their say mechanism their holding capacity these clamps are divided and uh, then we have power clamps right in power clamps we have like pneumatic clamps and then we have electric clamps so according to the requirement of our fixturing the holding force the cost of the fixture we have to select the proper clamping device so in our upcoming videos we will see in detail what are these clamps how they work how to select these clamps and so many other things so this is it for our today's session guys and i hope you understood the basics of work holding and clamping so if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then keep intro making and we will meet in the next session thank you